In order to understand the mechanics of animation, we have to understand how movement is recorded by live action cameras in the movies. The movement or the performance of the actor can be captured through a traditional cinema camera or a digital cinema camera, but regardless, either way, the camera is capturing those images at 24 frames per second. So here you can see individual still frames that a motion picture camera has captured. If you play those frames back very quickly, it appears that the horse is galloping down the track. Now you can take any video clip and open it up in quick time and then you can pause that video and then you can use the arrows on the keyboard to move forward frame by frame on that particular video clip and then you can see the individual pictures within the video. In traditional hand-drawn animation, instead of taking pictures of an actor, artists draw the individual frames for each shot of the movie. An animator will sit at a light table and that allows them to see several different frames at once so they can keep track of the movement of their character. So here I've opened up a sequence of individual drawings that I've created and I'm just going through them one at a time in preview. Now once these images are played back at regular speed we'll have the illusion that the character is walking across the screen. For a better understanding of the traditional process of animation, grab a stack of post-its and take a pencil or a pen and create one drawing on each post-it and then flip through the stack. The advantage of using the computer for animation is that you can select an object and set a keyframe at the beginning of the clip and then move that object a certain distance and set another keyframe at the end of the clip then the computer will go in and place that object on each of the frames that are needed between the beginning and the end to complete the animation for you. Even with the help of a computer, animation is an extremely slow process. In order to figure out how many frames we'd need for a feature length movie, which is 90 minutes, we'd have to take our 24 frames per second and multiply it by 60 seconds. That would make it 1440 frames per minute. We can take that 1440 and multiply it by 90 minutes and we get 129,600 frames. This would be the total number of frames we'd need for a feature length film. If you're feeling a little intimidated, don't worry. We're going to keep things short and simple for this introduction to animation.